something similar to that? So today we started with an activity called Fan and Pick, where the students were in small groups of four and talked about the material in the lab we just completed. In the Fan and Pick, they are supporting one another and thinking at a higher level because you have these layered questions, whether they're easier or more difficult, and you have the support of your classmates to back you up if you're struggling with something or you can get some ideas from your classmates within group. Now we're gonna take that understanding and apply it to a new question. We're gonna to transition to an activity called visual processing. So initially, you'll work in your groups answering a question on some butcher paper. Once you have answered the question to the, your best ability, we will transition into the hallway like we've done before um, and look for similarities and differences among our answers. So between group, we analyze and examine students' answers and then look for similarities and differences amongst them. So I need one person from each group to grab the two pieces of tape that's on their desk and go hang it out in the hallway. Mr. Nelson can show you where. And then when you transition to visual processing, you really are internalizing the text, you're internalizing the information, the science, if you will, um, and hearing what other people have to say about it. I think it's important to hear ideas from the rest of the class. Uh, students will be introduced sometimes to a different angle or perspective to look at the question. Sometimes they've forgotten something that is key and ought to be included in their response. They may have to change their minds about the group response that they had initially come up with. So that uh, between group activity lends itself to the discourse uh, in the sense that they see others work and they can talk about it. And especially for the visual processing that we did today, they got the chance not just to visually see the uh, responses, but also to look for the similarities between the responses. The more the similarities, the more likely that they're onto something, that they're on the right track to getting the right answer. We also try to have them look for differences in their responses. No, so we don't yet want to talk about it becoming a solid. Meaning that the iodine solution will leave the dialysis tubing, entering the cornstarch solution to reach that equal state, all right, where it reaches equilibrium. Very good. Are there any other differences you notice? Will? 